time and time again, people are asking me, Agent, uh, what's good with your jump shots? You gonna drop a jump shot video? Hey, tell me, tell me your secret jump shot. There's no secret jump shot, guys. Here's the thing, in 2K17, there was a lot of really, really overpowered jump shots. And 2K was, I, I don't care what they tell you, we all know as fact they were going out of their way to patch the shit. Come 2K18, a lot changed, right? So we had to do a lot more investigating. I was trying new jump shots every single week. But from 2K18 to 2K19, not much has changed. They added releases like Ben Simmons and Giannis Antetokounmpo, but they made them incredibly slow or useless in some way. And so there's no real purpose of using them in a competitive game. So it's like, yeah. My favorite jump shot in the game is my favorite jump shot from 2K17. The jump shot I'm using most is my high latency jump shot. It's my favorite jump shot in Pro-Am from 2K18. I'm not even using the releases, and they're really good releases that I developed in 2K19. All the releases I'm currently using were releases I used in the past. At this point, I think we got it down, right? Here's the facts. Depending on your jump shot, but on average, if you have an 86 open shot three or higher, you have a pure perfect green window, where every single time you hit the green window, it's a perfect release. Of course, that depends on your jump shot, but if you have attributes lower than that and you're not a pure sharp or a pure stretch, there's gonna be times where you release it perfectly and you still hit a white. And then of course, you're gonna have some times where you miss because you hit a white even though you released it perfectly. That happens a lot less on 2K19 than on 2K18. So here's what I do. In the very, very off chance, I'm playing on low latency. I first of all I smile right because it rarely happens and it's a glorious feeling I, Everything is responsive. It feels like I'm playing a my career game I use base 49 with curry as a release one and the release two. simple I told you guys about that release and it is the greatest release in NBA 2k history So if you're working in low latency, of course use it the second it jumps to high latency or mid latency I switch to a different jump shot which is base 11 with Kyrie as the release one and the release two That is my favorite jump shot because it's the most versatile jump shot. I can use it on the park we're on the prime and I feel comfortable that no matter what happens, as long as I'm releasing it correctly, I'm dropping buckets. I have other jump shots I use like Aldridge Base, Kyrie as a release one, release two. I have 2K19 releases I enjoy using like Base 49, Aldridge as a release one, and Kevin Durant as a release two. 80% Aldridge, 20% Kevin Durant. You can use super simple releases like straight up Kevin Durant. Works fantastic. I know Davis has released his base nine with Ray Allen as a release one. So like, yo, I'm telling you right now, there's no way to go wrong. If you want, use one of those jump shots. This is what I use. They're very popular bases. You'll see them consistently. If you know enough about jump shots, you can watch any game and I guarantee you at least two or three of the people playing have base 11 on. Part of the reason why shooting isn't complicated anymore is because they're not changing it 24 seven. You guys remember back in 17, especially on 17, but it also happened on 18. There was like daily, dude, Mike Wang was doing some disco tech. And I was like, Mike, please, please, Mike, leave the game alone. And they were doing things like adding in a grand badge. And it, it, like, why would you do that? Cause then you have to severely nerf shooting or else everyone's gonna be very overpowered. So it, it seemed like they had no testing on those games. It was almost as if 2K17 and 2K18 were the testing for 2K19. Cause this year there was like maybe four or five times there was changes to shot contest. And of those four or five times, only like two or three of them were talked about publicly. The rest of them is just everybody in the community going, something is wrong with shot contest. It wasn't like this yesterday. A common problem you'll see people have now is that if someone is like four or five feet away from you, it will weirdly count as a lightly contest. A lot of people, especially on Pro-Am, are reporting that if you're blocking someone from behind or contesting someone from behind, usually it would not count. It does not count as a contest, it's from behind, but on layups or situations where you're attacking the rim, some people are reporting that it is now counting as a contest. And I don't know if those are good or bad changes, but this is what I know. I'm enjoying 2K19 the same way I was enjoying Fortnite when it was in this early stages. But what happens when you change the game so much, and I think it's what 2K realized why they're not doing it as much this year, is when you start to change the things people like about the game, even if it's still a good game at the end of the day, which I think Fortnite is, it's like you changed the reason I fell in love with the game. Like imagine I'm Ronnie 2K, right? Me, I'm Ronnie, I'm Ronnie Singh, and I'm going, on, I'm, I'm in a relationship with another human being. Let's say uh, his name is Mike Wang. I'm in this relationship with Mike Wang, and I love Mike Wang, right? Mike Wang is my favorite person on earth. If out of nowhere, Mike Wang changes everything about himself, he still might be a great person, but he's not the person I knew no more. So it's like, we're gonna start to distance each other, and then eventually we're gonna break up, and I'm not gonna play 2K no more. 
You see where I'm going with this? I talked to Mike Wang at the 2K event and he, he talked about like not wanting to do many changes this year, but there's been times where he's done it, right? Everybody was complaining about stealing and he lowered that. And the shot contest has kind of been teeter-tottering for a little bit, but not as much as, not even nearly as much as it was in 2K18 or 17. I don't have to relearn the game and its animations and what I can expect to hit and miss every single time. Shooting is very simple. I know there's a lot of stuff, you can complicate it if you want and get into the nitty gritty of the stuff, especially if you like to create new jump shots like I do. But at the core of it, it's so incredibly simple. And probably the most important part for me is doing it with confidence. If I pull up for a shot thinking I'm not gonna hit the shot, I can't focus on the shot because in my mind, I'm already doubting myself. Every shot I take, I, I believe 100% it is gonna drop. Unless of course I know I muffed the release because you can easily tell once you get used to your jump shot. Which is why in my videos, you will very, very, very rarely see me passing out of the shot. Why is that, Agent? Because I don't think I'll miss, so I continue taking the shot. On a side note, let's patch that Mike Wang ASAP, ASAP, let's not wait, do it now. I want an overnight update patching, passing out of the shot. Ever since 2K16, they've been buffing it. Come 2K17, it was even stronger. 2K18, it was even stronger. And 2K19, bro, this shit feel like the Hulk. Everybody's passing out of shot cross court, twisting their back like a gymnast. Like, what is happening? If you're going up for a shot, you should, okay, it is not, that is the wrong rant, ladies and gentlemen. Not for today, not for today. Yeah, I'm here to tell you there's no secrets, ladies and gentlemen. Shooting is simple. You just get used to the game, you get used to a release that's comfortable for you. It is true that even if you have a bad release, if you release it, fantastic, you're still gonna miss. That's just the reality of the game. Your, your jump shot matters a lot. But some of you guys like try out a fantastic jump shot and then you miss like three shots and you go, mm -mm, this one's not it, and then you move on, what, what do you, you, might, you missed a fantastic opportunity to at least attempt to try. You didn't even try, my guy, you took three shots. Base 49, release one curry, release two curry. At first, bro, I couldn't hit that shot if my life depended on it. But I gave it three or four park games. And slowly I started to get better at it. And then when I finally found a cue for it, I was just murdering people. And it was the most fantastic feeling, ladies and gentlemen. So give a jump shot a chance. Some of you guys is quick to call a jump. You go on YouTube video and you see one of Badge Plug's 5,000 jump shot videos and then they're fantastic, but you try it on, you're like, nah, that's not it. I'll move on to the next one. You guys be searching up like 5,000 jump shot videos. Yo, you do not need to watch a million jump shot videos or spend hours and hours in the jump shot creator to find a good shot or to be consistent. Just find one that's really popular because if it's really popular, it works for a lot of people and then get used to it. And even if you're missing, give it some time and work on finding a cue to know when you should release it. And then boom, you just stick with it for the rest of the year. And if you're lucky, it transfers on Pro-Am because sometimes you need different releases for the two, which is why I have my versatile releases. You know how it is, man. It can work on any game mode. I could pull up to my team and probably drop off some of my team YouTubers with base 11 Kyrie as a release when Kyrie has a release too, ladies and gentlemen. I even had a 2K dev hit me up like, yo, I need some jump shots. And, and at first I was like, this could be some bait, ladies and gentlemen. They might be trying to patch my jump shots. But then I was like, Probably not, that'd be a really weird way to do it by like DMing me to ask a question. <laughs> so I gave him the, I'm like, yo, listen man, if you use this jump shot, like you're just gonna be unstoppable. That's it. No secrets, ladies and gentlemen, no secrets. If you guys enjoy, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I do have full jump shot videos going in depth into some of the jump shots I talked about. I'll leave a playlist right here and a random video right here. Click on one of the two, ladies and gentlemen, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one, of course. Peace.